Welcome to my channel. This is Alexis, and I normally go by Golden Girl 10, but that's when I was um, putting out information about thin hair, fine hair, alopecia, hair loss due to traction, alopecia, and other factors. Now, I did start growing locks, and I was four years into my locks, and there was some kind of incident. I went to Florida and there was an incident. I had met up with an ex. My girlfriend kept telling me, stop messing around, stop meeting up with this guy, stop letting, letting him use tools and stuff in order to get me back. And, you know, my attitude was like, well, you know, I deserve it. I've been through a lot with this guy. And, you know, if he want to send after me, then I'm going. And the last time I met up with him, when I got home, I figured my locks was cut off. But that's a whole nother story. And that's why I'm going under the name Alexis because I created another channel, which I will leave the link in the description box. So when I got back, um, when I got back home and I took my scarf off and everything, that's when I noticed that I had some locks that were like chopped off. You could tell it had been chopped off because it was chunky, like fresh cut. And trust me, my locks did not look like that before I left. Because if it had, I would have had a heart attack. Then I would have had a damn fit. Excuse me for cussing. So anyway, um, let's just say I closed the chapter um, on that past relationship and you know i can't prove if he cut some of my locks i mean he's very insecure very controlling a little jealous so who knows but anyway i said all that to say that i cut the locks off i am wearing a teeny fro and my hair is doing very well like it's very it's thickening up it's doing well so what i'm going to do because it's not just where i want it to be right now but in about a couple of months I will do an update on my fro, okay? And I want to I want to thank everybody that followed me on my natural hair journey. And I apologize if it's a disappointment that I cut my locks off. But like I said, you know, I paid a high price running around trying to take these free trips that I couldn't pay for myself. But uh, that's a whole other story. I might actually do a channel about dating a Marine man who is a Marine. And But anyway, you guys, I'm kind of like, you know, it's a little hot a little bit because I'm using a lamp. It's not a it's not a um studio light lamp or anything, but it's still it's still warm. Anytime you film it, it's just warm. And I'm not going to edit this video. So so what I've been doing is I wanted to tell you about the lower light therapy. It's infrared lights, laser lights. Uh this has a range of 650 to I think 808 nanometers. NM, so I hope I said it correctly. And I've been using this. Let me turn this off. So, you, as you can see, you can set the timer, you can set the power, low, medium, high. I got this on Amazon, and I will add the link in the description box below. See that light there, be right there. So, I use it from the front, the back. Because um, what I noticed is I got it for to thicken up my hair, and it does work. And I noticed that my mood started getting better effortlessly. Like, I just started, the things that was bothering me just was not, what wasn't bothering me. And I noticed that, and then it dawned on me, because I'm kind of well-read and kind of knowledgeable about many things. And I was like... Oh, this is kind of like phototherapy. So then I looked it up and it does. It helps with OCD, PTSD, um, depression, any kind of mood. Um, I mean, it really, it really, I'm in a good space. I'm in a good space. I am, but I was in a good space before I got this. It's just that, you know, how you, try to, you know how you think about things that's out of your control. I mean, that's just natural sometimes things into your mind that you know you don't care to even think about well actually phototherapy so look it up is 
laser light um, therapy. It's, it's red light therapy. That's what it is. So I just wanted to tell you guys about this. And it's great for um, making your hair thick. It's great for that. If you have a hair, it will induce um, your hair follicles. So also, um, so I just wanted to come on here and give you an update about my um, my lock journey that I no longer have my locks. I am going to do a uh, update on that in a couple of months. Actually, it's actually coming along really great, I have to say. Um, and I'm creating another channel. So it's going to be more informative. Uh, I am inspired by other um, YouTubers to do a storytelling. And I do do a good job doing storytelling. I really couldn't do storytelling, you know, talking about my hair. <laughs> so that wasn't a great climate for that. So, but, uh, so yeah, so I'm excited about that. And I may even add this video to that channel as well. I will add the link in the description box. And so, um, but that's it. And I just want to, I just want to say good luck on your hair journey, on your life journey. And actually, I'm very happy that it happened to me because it made me focus more on my hair again. And I love it. So I can't wait to sport my little teeny tiny fro. Uh, but I'm always going to be the diva that I am. And I'm going to always wear my, my hair, my wigs. So like I say, when Patty LaBelle stopped wearing her wigs, holla. Okay, because until then, I'm going to be a diva until I D-I-E. I just want to say thanks for tuning in. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to build my channel. And as I said, uh, if you would follow me to my other channel, that would be wonderful. If you like and subscribe on that channel as well. And I just want to talk about the pandemic. I hope everybody stays safe. I hope everybody stays well. Please go by science and the numbers. Don't go by your friends. Don't go by um, the um, politics. Don't go by, you know. Don't go by the news, go by science, you know, and well, also you can go by the news as long as it's positive and it's telling you to be safe and wear your mask. And I want to say that my heart goes out to everyone that's lost anybody to this pandemic. It is real. I, I have had a couple of family members and friends that's had COVID. So COVID is real. And um, just stay informative. And we will get through this, okay? We will get through this together. Um, Psalms 91 every day. Um, and just, just stay light, okay? All right, peace.